Hey, I'm Pen USB Mike, a pixel artist animator that has worked on games like Domekeeper, Shogun Showdown, and my own little project right now called Bullet Bunny. This is a quick little tutorial on how a sprite's new tile map feature works. It's been out for a while in beta, but they officially just released the full version. So if you're curious on how things work, uh, stay tuned, watch the video. But yeah, let's get to it. This, this is uh, A-Sprite's new tile map feature. So I'll go through my workflow, but this is kind of what I've been working on. It's gonna be part of the Stranded series, which is a game asset series I've been working on and release on itch. It, this is kind of a theme of like a blood desert and I'll kind of go through the process of, of how I, I made this and how it works. So I'll quickly go through the kind of tile map layer with its features and everything and then we'll start fresh and go through everything in a bit more detail. So to make a new tile map you just right click on your layers and go new tile map layer or space n and you can name it you can uh set the size tile set size here and and everything so right now this one this one here is is 16 by 16 which is pretty standard and when you click on the layer it brings up a little more options you can see here there's there's uh just your palette here and uh four little toggle boxes and if you click on the tile map you get four more with this with this extra thing here so we just go if we turn off the deco and base layer you can see the tile map the tile map layer and it's not perfect yet but it looks pretty cool and we'll start from scratch in a bit but what this does is if you click on here and say you're on a paintbrush you can test out your tile map just like that and the cool thing about this if you if you hold control you can see all the tile numbers are labeled so you have one um, which is which is this one here and if you scroll through here and at the bottom down here you'll see all the numbers and and how they're they're used so you can quickly if you want say this 11 here or 28 you just know it's going to be 28 down here here, and you can click on that one right there and, and use it as is but the really cool thing about this is if you toggle these here so this this second one here is if you're clicked on it it modifies the existing tile so if you say grab a color this highlight here and work on it it's editing every single tile no matter which one you're on which is really cool. So you can quickly edit that and you can see how it works in different scenarios in your tile set, which is really cool. The second one, modify and reuse existing tiles. So if we use this one and do the same thing, you can see it doesn't edit the other ones and it makes a new tile here. So let's just backtrack and say we edit this one, put a circle here. Now it makes a new tile that you can use in place. So it's really cool if you if you want just a quick tile if you want this one here in the corner to be different say you're on this one and you want to say you want to use this one here and you want to just delete the corner it's gonna make a new one here and it for some reason made a double over here but you can just modify that and then it will make a new one there so kind of cool and then the last one is don't modify anything so that one's kind of just so this one generates and stack new tiles every click. So it you got to be careful with this one. So say if you're working on this one and you delete, say this section here, it's going to create a new tile. So you have one, one new one. Say if you delete this corner down here, now you got a second new one and then this one, a third new one. So this one can creep up very quickly. So you got to be careful with that one. But really cool, these, these three little features. I tend to use... Um, the first one most modify existing tiles and then um, just copy and paste but but they're they're all really cool and definitely worth checking it and then the last one which is the first one here this kind of just toggles your which uh, this is your left click right click which ones you have toggled on and then you can right click left click over here and if you toggle that that will just go same thing but with the palette so with that quick kind of rundown let's uh let's uh start this this workflow here so we'll use this same palette but uh, we'll open a fresh fresh uh canvas and we'll start at 16 by 16 and we will copy and paste this palette over and we'll use that so 16 by 16, not a lot to work with, but I'll show you show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to view, tile mode, tiled in both, both axis, so the X and the Y. And now it's kind of big. And what this does is allows you to kind of, kind of just 
work and it will make the every every tile here draw on the same tile but what it's good for is kind of connecting the tile and making that your pattern nice and easy quick quick way to do it it's a uh, really handy in a lot of cases so once we have this we can go ahead we can use some colors here and start making some some kind of we'll, we'll stick to the same kind of blood desert and what i like to do is just make little blocks to start and this this might not be the, the color this is more of the highlight color but we'll, we'll use this to start and i like to just make kind of random shakes shapes as much as you can and you'll eventually run out of space it doesn't matter where you do it you don't need to be on that original 16 just anywhere it's gonna gonna trace anywhere like that and you can see already it's looking somewhat like a desert kind of tile you can see there's some areas missing and we'll just slowly fix that up so you see anything kind of stands standing out when you're looking over here say okay i don't like that one it's repeating a lot and it's pretty obvious let's just switch it up you know try something new because this is this is kind of your base tile this is you know this is the bread and butter this is what everything's built off of so you want to make sure this is right and it's good to zoom out and zoom in as much as possible and see what's what's cooking and i kind of dig that i kind of dig it already so let's uh let's go ahead and and maybe modify some of these colors so i'm gonna use this uh color shading extension one of my favorite extensions it's not in the video i did on youtube a couple months ago but it's it's this is one of my favorite ones probably my most used one now so let's go ahead and and see what we can do so i, I kind of want this a darker i kind of want it darker perhaps we can do the cracks darker and then this kind of shade like that and then we can kind of so now we have so we kind of switched it up a bit but we have kind of the tile figured out so now we're going to add basically using this color as as the starting point the base and then we're kind of using a darker for the crack and then we're going to use slightly darker kind of at the back of these these stones right now and you just want to you don't have to do every stone but you can do most of them and that looks pretty good constantly look over here see what you like and then i think i think that looks pretty good so let's try to add this this a uh, highlight it might be a bit too a bit too strong so let's go ahead and and when you're clicking on that go get and then you kind of switch it up and you can get darker one here so that just grabs some colors and what this does is just grabs kind of adjust the value so the light the the hue the saturation and it just gets the you know the next it scales it down 10 15 on the value of the value and it just grabs some nice color so this looks pretty cool let's maybe try a bit darker too dark but don't mind it i think we can try adding another highlight there things will change as you go you might want less highlights more highlights depending on how they look once we throw it over to the, the official not the official but the the other tile sets but this is a good start one thing i notice is there's a clear line right here of this sh shading let's go ahead and kind of fix that looks more natural so now that we we've done the base you can always add more highlights here like so and we can do a bit darker in the cracks as well just a tad in areas give it a little more depth so we got basically five or six colors we're using and i'll link this this color shading thing in in the page so now we got this kind of rubble rubbly stuff going on so let's let's uh let's take it over to a new we'll just start a new 192 by 192 canvas and what we're gonna do is make a new tile map layer 16 by 16 and just leave it as tile map and we're gonna take off the tile mode we're gonna go view tile mode none and then we're just gonna highlight this copy control c so copy it and then we're gonna paste it somewhere on your tile map layer and you can see it auto produce this um we'll grab the palette just in case we need it and we'll change this layer down here and we'll just call this the background color pg and we'll just paint this all so now you have your first base tile. and what we can do from there is kind of oops had the g tool gone 
paintbrush and you can just paint around and let's do a three by three so nine tiles so your middle one and this is kind of starting the tile set kind of if you were to import it import it in your game engine this is kind of the base um three by three so this middle one here we're never going to change that's kind of the unless you unless you want to touch it up or anything but it won't have any drastic changes so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start modifying some of these surrounding tiles um and to best do that is we don't want to be on modifying existing tiles because that will modify every single one so when you do that they'll all be modified so let's uh modify and reuse existing tiles so we deleted this corner one and it's going to make a second tile if you hold control you can see two so if we keep editing this one it should just stay like that and we can kind of tackle it now and what i'm going to do is just kind of fade this one in make sure you're still in the tile so you can highlight this section with a m tool the select and just double click and that entire tile will will uh be highlighted and you can go in and kind of just edit it so we kind of want this one to fade away not too much though i find getting rid of the darker cracks is the way to go and and the highlights a bit but you want it to connect to that that main tile so that looks pretty good so now we can go ahead and grab this tile and if we delete this one it should make this number three we double check it number three and we're now editing this one here and we want to do the same same thing as before keep some some rock so it kind of slowly fades to the the rest of the world i think that's a good start and then we can go along and move to on to the next one so now if we delete this we should see number four pop up hold control number four and then we can go ahead and edit this one and if you want to make real unique you can you can kind of go ahead and delete whole section and then you can kind of just grab some of these colors and make your own new one so it's a little fresh as well that's something you can do because even though it will be different than the original it's still the same base style so to keep it a little bit fresher you can just you know grab these colors and, and use them to make make your tiles just kind of dif differentiate them just a tad and when you're happy with that you can go out along to the next one and do the same and you're going to want to circle the entire base until, until you get all the way to that number two we did. So we still have one, two, three, four after this, this one. So you slowly chip away. So it's okay for now. And later on, any anything that sticks out like a sore thumb, you can you can edit. This is just meant to give you a good idea of how powerful this tiled map layer can can be in a sprite. It's a uh, really cool. I used to use other programs to test, but I think tile map is going to be the base or the uh, go to that I'm going to use. It's just real handy, and I do most of my work in a sprite anyway. So you know, having even more inside the program only benefits. I might speed this section up a bit. Okay, and the last one is done and you kind of look and you can see it still looks like a square quite a bit so what i want to do is kind of just go along the edges and kind of really delete a lot of those lines that kind of stick out maybe this section a bit more those darker areas kind of stick out quite a bit especially when they're at the, the edge of it all so it's kind of just clean up and then in areas like this you can go ahead and, and add maybe a piece so and then to make this you're, you're gonna continue to clean up areas when you zoom in and out but to to really make this kind of come together in the end we can take let's go to modify existing tiles and what i want to do is now click on the outside ones and kind of add these these uh add these kind of stray ones that kind of come out a bit f further so it looks like the tile comes comes out a bit more so you just want to again circle the tiles and add whatever feels right and you don't even need to click you can kind of just place them and and hopefully the spots are are decent and you can see on the left you can see the tiles really kind of auto populating itself which is really cool and super helpful later on when we're testing let's just quickly finish up here and it looks good add a couple more here i think and you can see now we have 25 tiles you can kind of see the direction we did too we did one two three four five six seven nine and eleven twelve thirty four all the way there and what you can do now is 
click on your base one. Make sure you're on the brush tool or else it might not be the same. Like if you're on paint bucket, it will just paint it all. So it works the same as a normal brush. So just make sure you're on the correct correct one. And then you can kind of, you know, we know that's number two. And number two is that corner one. And number three is going around. You can kind of just, we know number four was that corner one. Corner one there. And then five went up. Six was round. Seven, I believe. The top one. Eight was that top corner. And then bottom one there. And then you can kind of start really, you know, growing these ones. They kind of work everywhere too. Some might look odd, like the ones up at top aren't going to work well with the ones at the bottom but you can kind of just flop these around as well get an idea be cool if there was a a random kind of placement you know you could select these and kind of randomize them maybe there is i don't know yet but now you kind of have this this uh this tile set that's this desert kind of looking look and you can try different combinations and you can edit them when you're when you're in it and say if you edit this one here it's going to edit that corner up there so you can kind of you know really see how the, the tile set works together and you can edit things like this that kind of look out of place and it will edit it on the other one as well and it kind of just makes makes it a tad easier to then swap into a another editor a tiled say something like tiled which is great program or tile setter this is just a little easier to quickly make adjustments to it and you can see here this kind of looks odd so you can go in and kind of you know edit some of this make it come together a bit more you can see these highlights are kind of ended up on the top somehow you can just remove them and come on the bottom kind of stand out so let's just remove them but we now have the base this is the base tile and you can just keep working off off of this like you can make now kind of stray tiles you can kind of make this one here if you want it i like this same color to say you want to make kind of a stray little rock you, you do so and even add some highlights to it so and that will just be another tile tile 26 in your thing and you can just click on that one and you can place it kind of um areas and kind of get a better test for it and then what i did in the the other one is i made this kind of blood red um seeping through the cracks which is just these these kind of items which i just highlighted the cracks in red um some vegetation really brings it together you know you have a nice green you can then i would do this on a separate layer well you don't have to you can do it in the tile map as well but i like to just test freely kind of just this grass and the cracks and stuff and just have fun with it like so and then if you have your main characters you know in the game or already made you can copy them kind of just have them on that layer as well and kind of just do their their own thing just like and it's so quick just like that you kind of have the base of this kind of desert look or rocky look and you can do so many if you use you can do so many different patterns if you use this original um workflow we this original workflow we did and you can just build off that and once you start doing the decorations i call them or the vegetations it really starts to to bring it together decorations can kind of hide flaws in the tile set but you can also just take your time and kind of kind of work work that tile map slowly and just want things you like and don't like you can just edit it as it so this was a quick little tutorial on the new tile map feature in ace hope you enjoyed and, and learned a couple thank you